With the escalation of hostilities between Hamas and Israel, what should Australia's position be? And is there any possible hope for a peaceful settlement? Linda Burney, I'll start with you. Um, thank you very much. Uh, clearly, uh, Australia unequivoc unequivocally condemns uh, the attack on Israel by Hamas. Uh, the indiscriminate uh, attacks on innocent people uh, is inappropriate and wrong. Uh, obviously, there are casualties uh, of, is of civilians, and there is also the capture of many people. Uh, the Israel has every right to defend itself, and we call for... Uh, we, we call for the indiscriminate killing and removal of all people, be it Israelis or Palestinians. James, same question to you, but there is some breaking news tonight. The Israel Defence Minister has ordered a complete siege of Gaza. That means food and uh, fuel completely stopped from entering Gaza. Is that proportionate? Well, it won't surprise me at all if it goes much beyond that. I think the Israeli government and the IDF will intend to remove the Hamas terrorist organisation completely from the Gaza Strip and uh, from any other position they're in to attack innocent Israeli civilians. Frankly, if that happened uh, to Australians, we'd do exactly the same thing. So it's a terrible situation. It's awful to see what's happening and, unfortunately, uh, you can't negotiate with terrorists, you can't tolerate them, and these terrorists need to be permanently removed, and I fully expect that's what uh, the Israelis will do. But doesn't that ultimately, Peter Malinowskis, have an impact on the people who live in Gaza? There are many who will be put in a pretty... Well, this is... Some people are describing it as a potential war crime. Do you think it's appropriate? Well, well Patricia, wherever we see war and conflict, the people who pay the biggest price are innocent civilians. Yes. We saw that firsthand with the unprovoked attack from Hamas. They targeted innocent civilians um, who were going about their ordinary lives. Now, of course, the appropriate response from Israel is to defend their state to which they are entitled. Uh, but, of course, there will be severe consequences for innocent people in Gaza too who might not accord with being represented by a terrorist organisation, which Hamas clearly is. So it's a tragedy. It's a human tragedy that is occurring before our eyes. And I think we all hope that at some point there'll be a peaceful resolution. And in answer to Jeff's question, I think ultimately we will only ever see a resolution to this when both sides accept the need for a two-state solution. And part of the trouble at the moment is that Hamas doesn't acknowledge Israel's right to exist. And for as long as that is the case, it's hard to see the prospect of a, a peaceful resolution, but naturally we all hope for it. There was a protest, for instance, in Sydney uh, this afternoon. The Prime Minister urged people not to go to the protest, Linda Burney, which, you know, you don't hear Prime Ministers tell people not to go to protests all the time. Uh, Jewish people were urged to stay home. I mean, is this now playing out on our own streets? Uh, it would appear that it is. I, I know that the Sydney Opera House was lit up tonight um, and uh, there is enormous concern about something like 10,000 Australians in Israel. Uh, that there does not appear at this stage to be anyone caught up with that. Uh, but obviously uh, Australia is taking this incredibly seriously um, and like I say, Patricia, uh, there are casualties on all sides and, uh, and as Peter has said, it's usually innocent people that bear the worst consequences. Is there a difference at all between the government's position and the coalition's position on this. I've seen some different variations of language being used, but is there bipartisanship on this issue? Well, there should be. I hope there's no difference. Uh, I mean, what Linda's said and what Peter's said, I completely agree with. And uh, I think, you know, there are Australian citizens that are protesting and celebrating the acts of a terrorist organisation. That's, that's appalling. That's been appropriately condemned by the PM and the senior leaders in this country. I mean, 
We argue about a lot of things in Australian politics, but there's no need for this to be one of them. I think we're all in a unity ticket when it comes to what needs to happen. Mm. Um, Final question. Peter Dutton says if ammunition, uh, if any support needs to be sent to Israel from Australia, it should be. Is that something you'd support, Linda Burney? Um, I've not heard uh, that from Peter Dutton. And obviously Richard Miles and Pat Conroy uh, would be the people dealing with such issues. But the, uh, the point about uh, innocent victims on both sides is really... Uh, very important, and it's difficult to ha see how peace can come about uh, when there are the views being expressed. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, the call is for uh, those that have been kidnapped uh, to be returned and uh, for the killing to stop.